Well, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, nice to see you. Oh, it's always good to be here. Got Jesus looking at me, so that's always good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so today, our theme was truth will correct all errors in our mind. And um, I always love how the shows come about. It's like Anna's going through her things, I'm going through my things, we're going through our healing, and then we go through the course and we bring all our elements together. And then eventually, by the end of the week, we put them all together and we sort of sit there and look at it and think, how the hell is this going to work? Like, (laughs) it looks like so different. So it was really funny because yesterday um, we were with all of our elements. Okay, I want to talk about this. I want to talk about that. And I'm just like scratching my head trying to work out how this is going to happen. And clearly it wasn't the the right time um, for for that. And I'm just thinking, well, I don't know. I don't know what the greater plan is or or, or the greater healing for all of this for us because I, I can't see it in my logical mind, thank God. And um, it was interesting because um, we started to look at all of our projects and everything that we had going on and we were like, oh my God, we're super busy. We're charging around um, and we don't think we're going to be able to make the movie um, tonight because at Saturdays we have a movie at La Casa. Mm -hmm. So we were like, yep, don't think we're going to be able to make this. This is too much. So we're sort of like planning um, what's best for us. And so logically, that seemed perfectly normal. Yeah, we need to do the shows, very important. All these important things that we need to do, very, very important people. All the projects. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't have the time for that. We need to get back in function. Or yeah, so yeah, the movie's going to have to go. We need to plan all of this. And um, so I went and spoke with Jenny, and Jenny was like, well... I feel like you are to go for the movie and there's this little bit of resistance. Well, I've got a lot on, Jenny. She's like, well, let's just stay open for, for, for what it is. So it's like, okay, yeah, let's just stay open. And this kind of continued like, okay, I've got to, I've got to be open. But I was glad that I was able to be open to it because, of course, you can just like, no, we're too busy. Mm. And um, so it seemed like we were going from one thing to another. And so it was like, no, we're going to the movie. Okay, we've decided on that. And it actually, did, it actually did feel good, even though we didn't have enough planning for today's um, Yeah, it uh, just really show. feels like it just really comes in very naturally. Like we don't have to struggle or... <laughs> like when the struggle part comes in, that's like the point where we need to step back. Yeah. And I think yesterday before the movie, we were in that position, like trying to make something work and it wasn't flowing. So, okay, like the, the thing that got presented in front of us was the movie. Mm. And we saw a movie called Full of Grace. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. Full of Grace, no? Full of Grace, yeah, you need oh. to see that movie. Jeff has seen it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Linda too, yeah. But it's, it was the perfect answer to, to many, many things. <laughs> it was like the glue to everything that we've been going through, in a way. That's, that, that's how I felt it was. It really cemented that in place. And we were fortunate enough because um, we listened to it with um, David's commentary. And it was about two years ago, I think, maybe. Mm-hmm. And I was in the community then, and David shared it at La Casa. So I was there, like, live. And it was really, really amazing. I really, really loved it. So it was, like, now my second time. And I actually listened to that talk on its own through mm-hmm. Spreaker. So I recommend that as well. Yeah. Um, because I never knew anything about the Bible or Mary or, or, or anything, really. So it was like when David was talking about it, it was like really, really interesting for me to want to know what these symbols are, are for me. Mm-hmm. And so part of it was that um, Peter done most of the talking more than Jesus. And I was like, wow, I never, I, ne- I never knew any of this. So it was like really exciting for me to like learn, the, learn these things. 
I know for you it's like different because you were brought up in yeah. a religious background. But I can just give like a, maybe an overview for all of you guys that you haven't seen that movie. So this movie, Full of Grace, is about the story of Mary, the mother of Jesus. It, it happens like 10 years after the resurrection and all of those things. And they're in this period where, where Peter, who is the, we could say, the lead of the church, wants to, he's being presented with all of these like huge decisions that he needs to make and uh, help get the, the church like established and all of this. And he's having a lot of trouble with it all. And he, he goes back and visits Mary, um, Mother Mary, and it's like she is living in the presence of Christ. And like after that, like, oh my God, like, yeah, every single word that she said to Peter, it was just a blessing because Peter was like, I have all these important things to do. I don't feel worthy enough to be the the rock leader. for the church, the leader, and I just don't know what to do. I just don't think I'm, I'm, I was born to do this. I, I don't think I'm good for this at all. Yeah, he's like lost his connection, Henny. He? he lost the heart of why he was doing that, and I think that happens many, many times to us. Like we lose sight of that huge feeling that you felt that brought you here right now. Like, do you remember that? She, she was always saying to Peter, like, do you remember that first moment like, where you felt the love of Christ? And I guess right now I just want to yeah, just invite you like, just to pause for a moment. Like, do you remember that time where you knew this was for you? that you felt that love in your heart, that you knew there was nothing really else that you wanted. I can feel it right now in my heart as we're speaking. This is what it's all about. And I felt like I was like Peter, like caught up in all those decisions and all these busy doings and just completely lost why, why I really feel this in my heart. This is the thing that's going to drive us through anything. Yeah, that was really the whole movie, wasn't it? That he'd completely lost his way and so many questions were being asked of him that he, he didn't have the answer for. And there was a beautiful moment in the movie where um, he feels like he has to lead and Mary says, no, but we have to follow. You, you just follow Christ. and. It like wakes him up, doesn't it? He's mm. like, oh yeah, I forgot. I'm not, I'm not in charge of this. All this responsibility that he felt that he was letting everybody down and it was just weighing this heavy burden on him. And there was Mary gently being with herself, being with the Holy Spirit, mm. wanting to be very gentle in her mind, very relaxed, remembering her connection with Jesus, remembering her love. And it was like he'd come back to remember that because he was having the glimpses one he was like remembering yeah. being on the boat and Jesus was talking to him they were like out fishing and it was like they, these faint memories were coming in but it was so um, masked over everything that he seemingly had to do and even the reflections of the apostles when they turned up <laughs> there was like a beautiful part in the movie they were like we love you Peter but we've got these decisions to make mm. And it's like, yeah. we always think that there's more important things than the love of who we are. Mm. And Mary always was pointing back to, 
Yes, like everyone was saying, like, but we have all these decisions to make. And <laughs> she was just constantly pointing to just be still and feel that love in your heart. Just be still and listen to the answer and listen to the to the path. It's such a, like Jesus just already went through it all and he just laid out the the plan for each mm. one of us. Mm. It's like just be still and listen and just follow. Mm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so it was such a beautiful reminder for us um, when we were in our busy doing and then the movie comes in, no, just rest. Yeah. And I know it was, it was exactly the same experience that I had the last time in the movie, so I was so grateful for that. It just made me feel so peaceful. I was just so grateful. It was just so relaxing, so meditative, listening to David and, and the movie. It was just like so at peace and it was just like everything just drops away. And, you know, I'm remembering hearing Jenny's words. I think I think the movie's for you. And I'm like, mm. I'm so grateful that I that I listened to my brother, listened to that guidance and was able to remember what it was really all about. Yeah. The whole day was only ever about that. Absolutely. There was nothing else going on. Yeah. <laughs> it's just hilarious how you can just lose the purpose all the time. Like, why are we doing this? <laughs> mm, it's all about if it's like it's all about our connection with God. And that's what she was saying. If you don't, if you don't feel this in inside, like, what are you doing? It's just empty. It's just mm. nice words, nice readings. Uh, it's just really, mm. really empty. Like if there's not that heart that's in fire for yeah. in God's love or something. Yeah, we want the complete experience. Yeah. And when I, it's not that, hand it over. And I was just, it just was coming to my mind right now, like renounce as your own teacher. Mm. Just, just stop. We just want to be carried through everything. We just want to be carried. It's just reminding me of the section that you brought forward this morning, this need not be. And just always remembering that when it's not the peace, when it's not the love, this need not be. Mm. And something really beautiful that Jenny was saying to me is I just just allow it. Just don't force yourself even if you feel like, I want to feel better and I feel very, very bad at this time and <laughs> I just don't know how to choose again or something. And It's just being very gentle with ourselves. Like it's okay. It's just very gently, very lovingly, it's just coming our way. Would you like to read some of the things that we have? Sure. What, what, what did you have in mind? The prayer. The prayer. So. This is from section, I choose the joy of God instead of pain. Lesson 190. Yeah. 
So if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes and go inward. Really take the words in. Lay down your arms and come without defence into the quiet place where heaven's peace holds all things still at last. Lay down all thoughts of danger and of fear. Let no attack enter with you. Lay down the cruel sword of judgment that you hold against your throat and put aside the withering assaults with which you seek to hide your holiness. Here will you understand there is no, pe no, no pain. Here does the joy of God belong to you. This is the day when it is given you to realize the lesson that contains all of salvation's power. It is this. Pain is illusion. Joy, reality. Pain is but sleep. Joy is awakening. Pain is deception. Joy alone is truth. And so again, we make the only choice that ever can be made. We choose between illusions and the truth, or pain and joy, or hell and heaven. Let our gratitude unto our teacher fill our hearts as we are free to choose our joy instead of pain, our holiness in place of sin, the peace of God instead of conflict, and the light of heaven for the darkness of the world. I was just remembering one of the quotes from a movie, which I would like to read to you too. She said, when you said yes to Christ, you brought him forth into your heart, in your heart, into the world your heart beating with his for eternity. It just really, really made me feel something really settled inside of me when I heard that my heart is already beating with his in eternity. For me, as I have brought up in all this Christian termolo terminology all my life, she's, for me, she's just a beautiful demonstration um, of faith, a 
beautiful demonstration of trust, a complete yes, and such a humbleness. That's how I feel her in my heart. And just watching that movie yesterday was like remembering my own yes to when I said yes to, to God. <laughs> like this was going to be my life. That this was the only thing that could ever make me happy. Yeah, it was a beautiful, beautiful reminder of all of that. <laughs> yeah, I would really recommend you to see it. It's golden words, she said. Every single thing that comes out of her mouth is just so beautiful, so, so beautiful. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really have much words coming to me, to be honest. <laughs> I just feel very, very peaceful. Yeah, just thank you for your words. I enjoyed hearing what Mary meant to you because I have no reference for it whatsoever. Mm. But yeah, that movie did sum that up, exactly what you said, that trust the truth a faith, mm. just a reflection of your own faith, my faith, wanting the truth above everything else. She was completely non-compromised. Her mind wasn't wavering in all that the apostles seemed to have bring of all their problems. She saw completely th through that. Mm. Her eyes were just set in Christ. Yeah, she wasn't moving from that from that place and it was just just keep remembering just keep remembering remember remember who you are and I just love that demonstration yeah. that that's all we do these shows for it's like I know this is like another boost just remember keep remembering we get to remember with all our brothers together this is why we're doing mm. it. It's yeah. nothing to do in this world. It's nothing to achieve. It's nothing to get from it. Mm. It just feels such a rest. Yeah. Shall we read a bit from Truth Will Correct All Errors in Our Mind? I would like to. I would really like that. Yeah. And I also really felt this part that you said. Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> so I just wanted to read this part and then we're, then we're just sink into meditation. And this is just another wonderful reminder from Jesus. I love that about him. He's always reminding us. Truth will correct all errors in my mind. Can you imagine what a state of mind without illusions is? How it would feel? 
try to remember when there was a time, perhaps a minute, maybe even less, when nothing came to interrupt your peace. When you were certain you were loved and safe. Then try to picture what it would be like to have that moment be extended to the end of time and to eternity. Then let the sense of quiet that you felt be multiplied a hundred times and then be multiplied another hundred more. When truth has come, it harbours in its wings the gifts of perfect constancy and love which does not falter in the face of pain but looks beyond it steadily and sure. Here is the gift of healing, for the truth needs no defence and therefore no attack is possible. Illusions can be brought to the truth to be corrected, but the truth stands far beyond illusions and cannot be brought to them to turn them into truth. So if you feel comfortable, you can close your eyes. Begin by asking him who goes with you upon this undertaking, that he be in your awareness as you go with him. You are not made of flesh, blood and bone, but you were created by the self-same thought which gave the gift of life to him as well. He is your brother, and so like you, like to you, your father knows that you are both the same. It is yourself you ask to go with you. And how could he be absent where you are? Truth will correct all errors in your mind which tell you you could be part from him, apart from him. You speak to him today and make your pledge to let his function be fulfilled through you. To see his function is to share his joy. His confidence is with you as you say, And I will rest in him who is myself. Then let him lead you gently to the truth, which will envelop you and give you peace so deep and tranquil that you will return to the familiar world reluctantly. So thank you everyone for sharing this moment with us. Mm. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Mm. Send you all my love. Mm. So, so yeah, sweet to see your all. faces.